Wow, okay. Well, I'd learned. I went to a grammar school and stayed on to sixth form. But from uh, my GCSE results, we'd kind of be learned to get a bit savvy. So at the time, I performed quite well at GCSEs, but then uh, didn't perform as well I would have liked to have performed at A-levels. Um, but at GCSE, everybody just tears the envelopes open in front of each other and is yelling out what they got. By the time it came round to, to results day for A-levels, I think people were a little bit more cautious. So whilst we uh, all had collected our results amongst our friends, not one of us opened them in front of each other. We all got home as fast as we could and then opened them up. We were meeting up again, you know, like an hour, an hour and a half later to go on out and celebrate or commiserate. Um, but I remember taking them home, pretending not to have opened them in my bedroom uh, and then going downstairs and, and doing, a, a you know, another reveal of the second envelope, which I wasn't too fussed about actually at the time because I knew I'd done, done quite well on that because it was... Um, it was modules that, that I'd been studying, so I knew I was averaging what, what I wanted to get. Um, and then took it down and was like, oh, well, you know, this is what I manage my own expectations, really. Um, it's, oh, just, it's the nerves. It's the nerves. I think there's so much pressure that's put onto that day, which has very little impact on the outcome of my career. Um, that, yeah, I just, I just remember thinking, oh, it's not what I want. It's not what I wanted to get. Am I still going to be able to go to the university I wanted to go to? How is this going to impact on me? Because I didn't get the results that I wanted. Um, but it really didn't matter because I was still able to go into the course that I wanted to get on, even though I, I applied through clearing uh, on the day. I remember more about that day than I thought I did, actually. Uh, I remember the first drink that I had as well <laughs> to celebrate <laughs> on what it was. Yeah, cheeky vim. So I hate the thing. I don't know where that came from, but someone put it in front of me. I'm like, yeah, this is a great idea. Three later, it wasn't a great idea. Um, but yeah, so, so for me, I, I remember the experience. It wasn't a positive experience, I've got to say. GCSE results was much more fun, but A-level results, there was so much more pressure I felt placed on me for, you've got to have this amount of points, this is what you've got to do, or your future's uncertain and you're going to fail. And I think I took, I took too much on board there and um, it, was, it was quite stressful. Don't worry, because worrying is so ineffective it achieves nothing and it's pointless um advice is only you know advice is just advice so it's a really difficult it's a really difficult sentiment to say don't worry because you're gonna worry no matter what um but it doesn't matter if you don't get the results that that you wanted or that you were hoping for and it doesn't matter if you have to change your plans and apply for a different course or go through clearing and attend a different university your path is, is your path and as I've said previously I believe you make decisions based on circumstance so long as you're happy with the decision that you can make moving forward you can't be too upset really by, by not getting where you wanted to go because you know this is again I am one of those people that, that, that believes you know if it if it's meant to be if that's the path that's meant to be for you then that's the path that will unfold in front of you if it's not then it won't and the next path that unfolds is the path for you so don't worry there are many, you know, there are much more. Yeah, just, just that, that's it really. Don't, don't worry. Wow. As a life experience, it was hugely important for me because uh, I learned lessons, uh, not at the time. When I reflect, I'm learning lessons now uh, about that day. In, in terms of an overall picture, it's really not important. In my opinion, it's not important. And I don't mean that from a personal perspective only. I mean, in terms of the people that I hire, the opportunities that I create, the partnerships that I forge with other individuals, um, I don't base that, you know, I don't, I don't qualify them based on what results they got on A-level day, what course they did at university or which university they went to. Um, I interview people and I, you know, I, I take them on their merits for who they are, for what they believe in, for what they think they can achieve, for their characteristics and where it's relevant experience um, for me one of the you know, one of the strongest elements of s achieving success is being able to demonstrate experience you know I worked from a very young age I think I got my first paper round I'm sorry Mr. News Agent Man but uh, I think I was 11 when I got my first paper round I don't think I was supposed to be 11 um, but for me I've always worked and I've always enjoyed work and being able to use that experience no matter what job it is that you're doing you are gaining experience and qualities that you can then use that are transferable skills for other jobs, pretty much any, anywhere that you want to go in life. 
So results day is a lot of importance is placed on it and it can't be, you know, I don't want to undermine it. On that day, it's very important to it. lots of people who know where they want to go for their choice of university or for what the next step that they want to be is. And the overall picture of, of careers and life, it's really not that important. But I can only say that now, looking back at the time, it was the most important day of my life. Internships are invaluable. One of the people, in fact, that you've asked me what advice I would give to somebody when embarking on a career, is gain as much experience as you can. If it means you have to volunteer for an organisation, volunteer, rack up those hours when it comes to experience because it's invaluable and it's transferable. And internships are an incredible way of gaining experience and an insight into how the workings of an organisation, uh, in, in, an insight into the workings of an organisation to truly understand how business operates and also gives you a taste as to what skills would be required to progress in that field should you wish to develop later on. Um, I think they're an incredible opportunity to get your foot onto the ladder uh, and I would say you can't underestimate the value of experience in any field being able to demonstrate that you know how to operate as a professional um, is, is invaluable. It is ultimately my gap year turned into a gap three years, gap ten years actually. Because yeah, when I, I um, okay, so here's my confession: is that I left university because I wasn't, I was demotivated by some of the tutors at the time who were telling me that I was going into a dying industry. Um, and then I, I, I thought, okay, I took time to consider that. Went out and got a job the other summer. Um, loved the job that I got and stayed on working. Um, I then had a ten year gap before I returned to education. Um, I would say, from a from an experience perspective, though, relating it to yeah gap years or and or sandwich years, I'd say to get that it depends. For me, I would want to get my education done and finalised and then take a gap year. I don't feel that for me when I when it, certainly a result stage, if you're going through the natural progression at that age then to take a year out before returning to education, you can sometimes drop the ball. You come, you know, you're in the habit of that style of education, that style of learning. To take a gap year and then to get back into it could sometimes be difficult for people. I know that's what I would have struggled with. Um, however, it, it's, it, it's, it depends, you know, you know we, each, we each are individuals, we know what works best for us. Um, my preference would be to get the education done first and then get your gap year done. Begin big and graduate with no regrets. Um, okay, well, how can you prepare yourself for that? It's just to go with an open mind. Don't go with any, you know, try not to be too rigid in your thinking as to what the experience is going to be. Um, leave yourself open to options for different experiences um, and to absorb as much as possible, really. What I would say is to enjoy every day, every week <laughs> of, of student life because looking back, there's never a time in your life that it will be so much fun and freely available for you at a stage of learning as well. Just to embrace it.